Hey guys, this is Steggy from MLG. Today I got two new headsets for you from Steel Series. They're the new line called uh, the Spectrum 4XB and the Spectrum 5XB. So these are two completely brand new headsets from Steel Series. Uh, I'm not even sure if they're available online uh, for purchase yet, at least in the United States. Uh, so the first uh, unboxing that I'm going to give you is for the uh, 4XB, which is the lower uh, end model, which is right here. Um, I couldn't find the pricing for U.S. pricing for it uh, on Steel Series website. When I try to add it to cart for U.S., it kind of gives me a 404. But uh, international pricing, it's showing as uh, 60 pounds or 60 euros, whichever monetary unit they're using. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, unbox this for you guys and uh, show you what you're going to get inside. Looks like they kind of actually helped me. I don't know. Uh, I kind of got the box like this. Uh, the box that they sent it over in was kind of beat up, but uh, looks like everything's okay in there. Uh, I guess it'll just make it a little easier to pop the top off. But first, the front shot, the side shot, the back shot, and the other side shot. Now it's ready to be opened. Okay, so we have everything right here, just out in the open. I don't think there's anything in here, but the, just the packaging. So this is basically what you're going to get when you uh, crack it open. Uh, so let's just pull out the random things. So the first thing you have right here is uh, two RCA cable uh, adapters. Uh, I'll explain that in a little bit. Then, as I... Take that out. They've got a lot of bunch of cords there. I'm gonna sandwich this, and we have the documentation that goes along with it. So let's see here. Kind of a thick book. Maybe it's just a couple of different things. I don't know. Let's see here. So you have the Steel Series sticker. Uh, a warning. Don't really care about that. Got a nice little catalog of their other products. I always love that because I like to shop. And then we have the quick start guide right here that is, uh, it's a lot to go over. But uh, it does have a very new product that uh, is included with this headset. So I can kind of understand why they would uh, have a thick instruction manual for that because uh, this headset does have a lot of features. So let's just get everything else out of here. There we go. Now everything is free. That packaging can get out of the way. I can move everything out of the way pretty much, actually. Okay. So first off, you have the headset itself. I'm just going to give you a nice close-up view of it. Then you got a little protective tape that's kind of protecting it from... Uh, being expanded. Let's see if I can get this off really quickly. Alright, there we go. Movie magic. It's like it was never there. So this does extend. The extending click man. Now, uh, this is kind of a basic design for a headset. Uh, you'll notice that it doesn't uh, detach in a couple of pieces like you will be seeing in the, uh, the 5XB unboxing. But, you know, it kind of looks like the 5HV2 a bit as far as the ear cup designs. Though one of the things I can notice right away is that the ear pads are actually softer. Uh, Steel Series has always used cloth uh, ear pads uh, that are kind of like firm almost, like the 5HV2. I don't know if you guys have tested it before, but uh, they're a little bit uh, hard. This is actually kind of plush, and uh, so I think it's going to be a little bit more comfortable. A uh, little new element that I haven't seen before from Steel Series is that they have a cable on each side, and then they have the signature retractable microphone so if you if I close up really well there you can see the flexible gooseneck so it's very flexible 
I'm personally a huge fan of this kind of microphone and it does slide right back in so it just looks like a normal pair of headphones uh, and then you'll also notice that it does have a pretty thin headband so it is kind of like your basic uh, you know it does seem like a kind of budget design but uh, maybe it'll be comfortable I'm, I'm kind of worried about the headband not really worried about the ear pads at all they look like they're gonna actually be pretty good so then following uh, the headset down just get that into focus for you so following the headset down you have kind of the thin cords right here and then it leads to the two uh, terminations so this is a normal PC uh, headset so it's got the two 3.5 millimeter cables that you can just plug right into your uh, desktop and you can uh, game online and everything but uh, if you've done any uh, reading on the uh, Spectrum series you'd notice that they're uh, designed for the Xbox 360 so how can they do that when they're a PC headset well it's kind of similar uh, in respects to like their Siberian neckband where they include an adapter that will make them uh, usable with Xbox Live but they came out with a brand new kind of adapter that's really cool that I'm really excited about and it's called the Spectrum Audio Mixer now what this does right here, I'll just zoom in on that for you is it's actually compatible with any PC uh, stereo headset so you can just plug the headphone port there and then the mic port there and you plug this into the bottom of your Xbox controller like so and if you see here you have two uh, volume knobs one for game and one for voice so uh, I've learned to appreciate over uh, my time reviewing headsets about how much of a role uh, game and chat balancing plays uh, I basically fell in love with it ever since I used the Astro Mix Amp and it's kind of become that uh, die hard uh, necessity for me uh, in gaming uh, just you know being able to balance it in some way at all but unfortunately all the ways to get that game in chat uh, balancing wasn't really uh, cheap at all uh, but these headsets do include it um, so like I said this is a 60 pound or 60 euro headset that comes with this uh, adapter that lets you balance game and chat uh, and they do sell this separately I don't have a price for it though but I'll, I'll just like add in a annotation when I get that information for it so I'm just gonna unravel this and just kinda show you um, everything that entails with this so like I said this end right here goes into your controller where you plug the headset in at the bottom then you follow it down and it's, it's an extremely long cable and then you have two jacks at the end you've got your headphone jack so if you have a monitor or display with a headphone out you just plug this right into there just like you would with like a normal set of headphones and then you have a USB jack that you can plug into your Xbox 360 and this is basically what powers the audio mixer so you can get that game and chat uh, balancing so for those without a headphone out port on their TV SteelSeries has you covered actually I also like this part that uh, they decided to add this RCA uh, to 3.5 millimeter adapter uh, it just kind of reminds me of the Turtle Beach X11 where they just kind of uh, provide you with everything you need for the basic setup so you know you have the game chat balancing you have you know the way if you have a headphone out port and if you don't have that headphone out port you can plug this into your TV or if you know you have your cable coming from the Xbox you just plug the audio into here and you're all set it's like you're plugging this into the output of your TV in the first place and then you're basically good to go so you can take this dial right here and this is the voice and then this is the game but uh, one thing I didn't tell you guys yet well there's the mic mute right there but on the back there's this little switch that says live mix now what is that well this is actually a really cool uh, feature that this headset has that no other uh, company has done before actually now when I'm gaming with my uh, Astro Mix amp uh, you know throughout the game I have different uh, preferences for what I want my vo uh, volume at I usually leave the volume alone up here but then if I'm like playing with friends and I kinda wanna hear what they say better I turn the voice the game chat up uh, and if I really don't care if I'm playing with uh, random people that are kinda screaming in their microphones 
I just, you know, kind of turn it more towards the game volume. So throughout a game, I could be reaching over here a couple of different times. Uh, but with Live Mix, they actually do it automatically for you. You know, in this little puck, they basically just kind of analyze the sound. So let's say that you have the game sound all the way up here and you have the voice sound there. They kind of dial it down, like they kind of make it balanced so nothing overpowers each other. So I'm really excited to see how that's actually going to work out because, you know, if done right, it could be awesome. If done bad, it could be, you know, terrible. Uh, but from the previews that I've been reading about, it's actually supposed to be very seamless. So it's something I'm really excited about. So I think that will pretty much do it for the unboxing of the 4XB from uh, Steel Series. There's just the packaging one more time, just so you uh, just remember the headset, basically. Uh, it's named and everything. So uh, I will be uh, reviewing this headset over the next couple of weeks, uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and if you want to keep updated on everything that I'm doing, just be sure to follow me on Twitter at uh, www.twitter.com slash mlgsteggy. Uh, and if you like this video, please be sure to comment it, uh, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Just, you know, all those things really help me out. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, hopefully you'll check out the other Steel Series video that I have that's uh, being uploaded right next to this one. So, you know, see you in five seconds. Thank you guys for watching.